<laughs> hey, what's up behind the scenes? What are we doing? This is behind the scenes. Yeah? It's not behind the scenes, is it? What are we doing? Hey, yo, what's up, MT Cribs? This is my crib. How's it going? Uh, here we've got the green screen studio. Here we've got the white screen studio. And that's about it. We only got two studios. I'm broke. Please you promise, pay me. You promised me gold. You said there was gold here. There's no. The, uh, you can have my gold necklace if you'd like. We started the production. Um, I think in winter. The writing process, I think, took about four weeks. Um, we were researching the movies, yeah. watching them all, and um, finished it for the album. We didn't really do any rewriting afterwards. I think it was pretty much done. No, I think we just yeah. did the re recording. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did re recording much later on after we did the film. We basically we filmed in the studio for a day. <laughs> 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 Felix, yeah. I got a bone to pick with you. Hey, today. I'm gonna bone you. <laughs> <laughs> Your face, bro. My face, bro. Bro, bro. You ugly, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. It's hard being a Viking. Viking water. You don't like it. <laughs> In the front, a little hopeful squire. Um, in the back, just <laughs> fucking Christmas. Business, business in the front, party in the back. There you go. I'm a villager at the front, villager at the back. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He's so tickling. <laughs> <laughs> this is normal. This is fine. Yes! Kill him! <laughs> Well, you want to be scary. You want to be scared, Leo. It's not alright. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I was when I was in. Uh... So here's how you do the roll, uh, George. First you first you swing your axe. Okay. And then you. And it's then actually you, a bone dust. And then you say your line. Okay. You wanna know your line? Yes, please. This is your line. Hello, I am Amleth the Viking. Okay. Say the line. Hello, I'm Amleth the Viking. Very good. Let's do another one. Okay. Say your line. Well, I thought I thought it was a say different. Say the line. You Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who says that? Am I supposed to voice? Sorry, that was my head. That was my oh, inner monologue. It's dusted after he cuts the crap. <laughs> Get the real. fuck out oh, of here. Get real. Get real. For this one, I'm gonna have to ask you to get real. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he marching like that? Oh, <laughs> I was like reading him his rights. Oh no. <laughs> Everything you say will be held against you in the court of law. In the co court of war? Law. Is this where you can act like a massive diva? So. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, so I don't want it there. I don't want it there, <laughs> did I? I told you specifically not to put it there. Just put it there. How hard is it, dog? Dust and fire this lady. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Thank you. Alright, you're so busy. What's all of this then? What's all of this then? Right, what's all of this then? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
Is that your awakening? <laughs> 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 the word to your house Why would I listen to a single fucking word from your mouth? When all I need is the voice to have you turn around You will tremble, you will die on your knees You will stop trying to bring your sound up to the surface In these minus degrees You will end yourself an adventure plan <laughs> And then I said to her That's not my wife That's a Tyrannosaurus Rex Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Lyrics with Felix um, today, I'm not going to be going through the lyrics as in-depth as I did in the last installment um, because you can find all that shit on, on rapgenius.com or maybe even the, the Wikipedia page, Rap Meanings. So I feel like most of it's kind of surface level if you have read or watched Dune or if you've, if you've seen The Northman, which I highly recommend. I highly recommend you do both. So the main thing that we wanted to do when going into this initially, when we had no lyrics written down and we were just plotting how we would want them to interact with each other, is that we wanted them to reflect um, their kind of battle experience, their combat experience. Because on one hand, you have Northman, who was kind of forced into this this uh, this isolated life where he's had to harden and he's had to battle. He's had to. He was thrown out of his village at a very young age, and so all he's really known is combat and and, and anger and rage. And then you have Paul Atreides, who who was kind of who is the, a, a prince of a, of a very prolific king, a rich king, and he is going to obviously inherit that throne. So he's, he's been trained to battle, but he's never truly experienced battle. So he's still a little bit cocky, but reserved, because he doesn't truly know what it's like. So then we had these two distinct personalities and kind of approaches to battle reflect from, not only within the performances, and, and the demeanors, but also the lyrics themselves. So if you'll notice, Amleth starts strong because he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows how to fight. He starts with these heavy hitters, hit after hit after hit, making fun of his, his father, saying that he's a weak descendant of his dad, and then making fun of his books and his franchise as a whole. And if you'll notice, then Paul just kind of comes back and he's a bit more reserved and held back and he's, I'd like to say immature and cocky. He's, he's just talking about making these cheap little jokes. For some reason, I, uh, we, we decided to give a character in a rap battle character growth, an arc. So, you know, join us next time for the rap battle movie. So this is the actor of The Northman. Hello. Hello. What did you think about this role? How did you prepare for it? How did prepare for the role? So, uh, I watched The Northman. Uh, then I went to a Viking village for it. I met up with some of my long lost ancestors as well. I, uh, I bathed in their blood. I uh... <laughs> actually went through the movie itself. <laughs> yeah. Like he did. Uh, yeah, so for, for this one, I just looked at physicality more than anything, to be fair. This one was with the. Um, it, like he was, uh, when I watched the film, I realized he, he walked around with wolves. Wolves are a big thing. So then I, Huge, researched, yeah. uh, I, I, then I researched the physicality of wolves and how they walk is very mm. shoulder heavy, which I incorporated into it, uh, as well with the mouth and the jaw as well. So I made sure when I was delivering my lines, they were much more with the bottom teeth. It's only the king. I cure you of your allergy, but I'm afraid of things. No longer will you cough at the thought of the thumbs for you now, but you know, no more will it will just not go. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Walk. No, I am excited. Walk. You murdered Cinema. No, I am excited. Oh, 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 oh. Got some fabric? Gonna make a skirt out of it. That fit. So, and now comes the fun fun. Do fuck this up. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do to fuck this up is we're gonna get a little bit of water, we're gonna get some nice tea, we're gonna get some fabric to test this first because uh, I don't wanna sew all that shit again. So we got that, let's go. I only left it in a little bit and it's already a success, so I'm just gonna go for it. Stop. And we filmed at the beach for one morning in Spain. But um, more to that. You later. know what? I have to point. I need you guys to know this. Okay, I need you guys to know my struggle. The back of my costume was completely open. Okay, mm -hmm. I had a cape covering it, and that's it. It was open. So whenever the wind blew my cape away, everyone saw my bare back. It is 4 a.m. 30, and we're getting ready for a final filming day. Yes. Makeup time. I woke up at 2.30 today. I had four hours of sleep. I'm fucking dead. Yay! <laughs> My faithful servant, there you are. I was just eating these grapes, sir. They're delicious. I only wish they were pre peeled. I can bring you some if you like, but I don't give you a bit of a stomachache. Uh, too much calories for me. <laughs> 